All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Blink 182. I think I recognize that name, and you as well. They've been here many times, a legendary band. And this time we have a song called Can't Go Back. All right, so this is a pretty straightforward song. We have a little bit of an irregular strumming or beat going on there with the drums in the background. I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible. So we are using one string pattern with a clap and the clap is not exactly accurate all the time but when it comes to just performing this with a guitar and to handle this song and have somewhat of a clean direction when it comes to the playing we will have this string pattern that is very close uh, so let's do this together we are going clean here on the fretboard and no need for any capo here and we have four different chords there are mainly three, but with an extra additional. So uh, let's go over the chords like we usually do, starting here with the F sharp minor. All right, so that's a bar chord. We will play the bar on the second fret and you bar all strings there. And then you need to add fourth on A and fourth on D. That's the F sharp minor. We have the D next. All right, so that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. We have the A, and that is open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. And then we have this additional chord, cause the F sharp minor, D and A, they are the main chords here, but the additional chord is a kind of transition chord, and that is basically to have an A, but with a B in the bass. So what you do here from the A, cause that will come right after the A, is to move everything one string up. So the same setup here for A, you move everything one string up and you land at this position. So that means you play second on A, second on G, second on G, then open B and open E. All right, so there you have the chords. So let's go into the strumming and this is what I talked about. When you play the first chord, the F sharp minor, you will have this strumming correctly in the first round, but then second round, the drums are very irregular here, and it's pretty much uh, hard work to just follow up with the guitar and the beat, and it actually wouldn't sound great either. So to have something that is um, uh, very consequent and goes in the same way through the entire song will be much easier for you to play and easier for somebody to listen to it as well. So therefore, we are using the first part of the strumming to play that throughout the full song and use that. So that means if you go to the F sharp minor, one string around will be down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. Okay, so that is how it's done. Down, up, down, up to start with. Then clap, up, down, up. Put these two parts together, it will be down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. And a couple rounds to get the feeling for it, it goes like this. All right, so we're ready for this song, and the verse play is simply to play F sharp minor, one string around. D1 and A2. That is the main corporation in this song. And you're gonna play this for four corporation rounds in the first verse. So F sharp one, D1, A2, like this. That was two rounds, so you're gonna twice it up to get four rounds, and that's the first verse. Over now to chorus. All right, so you're gonna continue pretty much in the same way. But now you have the F sharp minor D, uh, for one round, D for one round, and A for two rounds of strumming. You're gonna play that for the first two rounds. This is a total of four rounds in the chorus. So the first two rounds, you just continue in the same way as the verse play. But then in the third round, you're gonna play F sharp minor one, D one, A one, and this added A with the B in the bass one, okay? After you play that in the third round, you go back to play in the same way, F sharp one, D one, and A two. 
And that's the end of the course play. So to summarize that one, you can say that the first round, the second round, and the fourth round is played in the same way. F sharp one, D one, A two. The third round is F sharp one, D one, A one, and this A B one. All right, it goes like this. the third round and back to and that's the first course all right guys so from now on there's no news the second verse is played in the exact same way four rounds of the same f sharp da and then you're gonna play two choruses after each other both the second and the third and they're played in the exact same way as the first one. So you just play two choruses right after each other. And that wraps it up for Blink 182's Can't Go Back. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you love Blink 182, they will be back for sure. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and get them and other great artists here covered on Gordon Guitar. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, play tuned.